100 championship points tonight. I think they're running out of paper to record your achievements. Yeah, I suppose Claire is just delighted to get on the field and delighted to get 70 minutes behind me. It's been a tough, tough few months for myself with the shoulder injury, so just absolutely thrilled to get back. And uh, I suppose the most important was that Kilkenny got the victory tonight, and uh, that's the most pleasing pass. You know, it starts from Brian, obviously, you know, he's insatiable drive, you know, and hunger. It just every year, it's, you know, it's, it's the same, and he's uh, kind of an inspiration in that factor, you know. And then you see the likes of Henry and that, and, you know, what they've won, and still, like, you know, coming back from the injuries, and et cetera, and putting in a performance there like he did. So it kind of filters down through the team, and the younger guys then are seeing that, and they're being inspired by that and driving on. And, you know, it's, it obviously makes it easier, I suppose, when, you, when you're winning as well. But, you know, it's, it's, it's great to be involved in it. Anthony, obviously, bitter disappointment believe the gulf between the two teams yesterday you think there's a the, there's a big contrast in the conditioning yeah it was blatantly obvious last night um you know i think the question was coming in i, I was very disappointed with dublin myself i really thought you know the, they were progressing nicely but when you look at kilkenny they were on their toes they were sharper to every ball and body language speaks a lot on the day of a match and you know and, and brian and tommy welsh often referred to it you know on your toes no matter what happens no matter how hard you get hit but I don't know what Dublin seems to have gone a little bit backwards. I mean, there's a few of them there and they have to put in serious condition, but they're not as quick to a ball as they were this time last year. I was part of the league final defeat and they just dusted us at several occasions. They flew out past us and I don't know what's after happening. Maybe, you know, Mick Dempsey was brought into Kilkenny and he raised a few eyebrows, but I think he has to take a, a big bullet. His of background, though, just for people who don't follow closely, was leash football. Yeah, I mean, as I said, he raised a few eyebrows outside of the county and even within the county, but I think he has to take great credit for it because Kilkenny looks so fresh there, and, you know, and, and I suppose he's there with the with, with boys a good while now, so he knows he's able to measure it a little bit more, he has good experience in that regard, but. I just don't know. For me, and I, I, it's something I noted during the league. Like I just thought Dublin looked very laboured looking. You know the, you know I suppose they've been training it, like yeah. like mad. You know I'm aware of that. It's hard to know. You know it's, this early too morning training. start maybe too much. You know I think no matter what happens, I think you, you have to enjoy it. And if you're going into training kind of dreading it, maybe you know it's you know what's ahead of you. But I don't know. It's 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 a bit, it's baffling. I presume a lot. Of, I'd imagine a lot of people in in Dublin are quite um, baffled at what's mm -hmm. after happened. They seem to have gone reverse from last year because you would have looked at the year and said, look, the high hopes and particularly this match. And as I said, it just yeah. there's a golf in conditioning. Michael. Well, I always felt, you know, you can train as hard as you want during the winter, but when it gets near the championship, it has to be all bulk. I know Anthony knows that. He he was successful himself as a player, but you know they are bulked up. Um, Kilkenny. I think a big factor with Kilkenny is I think people don't really talk about Kilkenny's training or their, their physical training. There's never much talk about Kilkenny in that respect. It's all about their hurling. But they do train very